His People's Party is riding high in the polls and his message is simple. Only he is fit to lead his country. Where a majority of the previous parliament had no confidence in him, Sebastian Kurz says he has confidence in the voters. We have in the last months Recently, the amount of support for us across Austria has been amazing. So many people told us they want us to continue working for Austria. But just as many people say, you're going to win it, it's already decided. My friends, this election is not yet over. Analysts say Kurz's attitude has been to try to pit the people against Parliament. He's always hovering around a bit because on the one hand he says I'm anti-establishment, we have got a new movement, not an old party. On the other hand he's telling uh, everybody that he is the most experienced, most senior, most long-standing member of the government. The party that used to work with him and then combined with others to oust him is struggling in the polls. The far-right Freedom Party was forced from office when video emerged of some of its leaders appearing to advise Russians how they could gain influence over Austrian politics and the media. Now, its new party leader says he and his colleagues must learn from their mistakes and fight hard for every vote. It is worth it to continue this fight and do everything to get a government again with us in it, which is so active, so much liked and which does a lot for our country. The centre-left Social Democrats face a different fight. Having voted with the Freedom Party to remove Sebastian Kurz, they must reckon with voters angry at being forced into an early election. Every vote for Sebastian Kurz makes a rerun of the Ibiza coalition more likely after September the 29th. And therefore, there is only one way to prevent that, by voting for us, dear friends, the Social Democrats in Austria. Surveys suggest a resurgent Green Party may do well on Sunday and perhaps become a factor in coalition forming. But as the clock ticks down to when voting starts, it's clear who's out in front. In the old parliament, Mr Kurz and his party occupied all of these benches in this part of the chamber. If the opinion polls are right, after Sunday's general election, they might find themselves spilling further over into these benches. But will he and his party gain enough seats to put them back into government? We'll find that out on Sunday evening. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, in the Austrian parliament.